What's up guys, it's Kristen here today with my October TBR. Okay, now I know I was really excited for September, but October is genuinely my favorite month of the year. Thanksgiving, Canadian of course, and Halloween. I mean, Christmas can just move aside. I was already planning on tailoring my TBR this month to be all Halloween, fall themed type books, but now I'm even more excited because there is going to be a readathon called Called Spooktober that is just going to be absolute perfection. So that's going to be pretty much my entire TBR for the month. But before I get into it and give all the details and stuff, I will show you the one other book that I'll be reading that is not Halloween themed or anything to do with this readathon. And that book will be The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton. You can probably see why I'm not going to read too many other books this month because this one is quite massive, but I will be doing a buddy read with this one with several other booktubers, but it's being hosted by Marie Berg, and I am so excited because I've been wanting to read this book for such a long time now, but it just intimidates me so much for some reason. And I don't really know a ton about it though. It is set in 1866 in New Zealand. And I think doing a buddy read definitely takes away the whole intimidation factor. So now for the Spooktober readathon, it's going to be going on actually all of October where there's gonna be different challenges and you can kind of read your books mostly through the month. But the actual readathon week where I hope to get most of my reading done is taking place from October 23rd to the 29th. And it's being hosted by the lovely Vanessa from Paper Fairy, Reggie from Don't Stop Reading, along with the Owlboro, Stacy's Stories, and Kale's Corner. So of course I will link all of that information down below so you can go watch their announcement videos and get a little more info about the readathon. So there are seven challenges and the first one is to read the group book that they have decided on and that is going to be The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. I've been wanting to read this for so long because I've read her short story The Lottery and We Have Always Lived in the Castle and I absolutely loved both of them. This is one of the books that they're really encouraging people to read all throughout the month of October. The second challenge is to read a book with your favorite Halloween creature. Mine happens to be vampires. I think it was an interview with a vampire that did it for me when I was younger and I've always had this fascination, but I have not read the most famous vampire book of all time. Dracula by Bram Stoker. If anyone watched my Intimidating TBR video a while back, I said how this is one of the books that's been on my TBR shelf for the longest time and I'm so massively intimidated by it and I always tell myself that I can only read it in the month of October and it obviously comes and goes every single year and I somehow miss it but this year it's finally gonna happen but I think I'm also definitely gonna listen to the audiobook for this because it's narrated by Tim Curry and a whole cast of famous actors and it sounds absolutely amazing. Challenge number three is to read a book with fall colors on the cover and this is the only one where it's not really Halloween themed because I felt like I needed to mix it up a little bit so I'm going to read Chanel Bonfire by Wendy Lawless. This is her memoir of her very unique and dysfunctional life growing up in New York in the 1960s and it obviously it's got the beautiful orange in the cover and I am just so excited as I keep telling every video I am in such a memoir mood so this is gonna satisfy that for the month of October. The next challenge is to read a book by an iconic horror author of your choice and I've decided to read several different authors because I'm going to read Ghostly. This is a collection of ghost stories compiled by author Audrina Finegra, but they're from a whole bunch of different authors, including the famous Edgar Allan Poe. And I mean, look at this cover. Could you get any more Halloween October themed than this? I could literally stare at this all day. And then you open it up and the end papers there's even more cats. I was sent this by Nov Publishing a few months ago and I've literally been anxiously waiting for October to come so that I could finally pick it up. Challenge number five is to read a scary book and then watch its movie adaptation. And this is one of the ones that I'm gonna double up on because of course you can do that for this readathon. And I am going to watch the movie of The Haunting of Hill House. It's actually just called The Haunting. There were two different adaptations made. I haven't seen either of them ever. 
one from the 60s that apparently was pretty good and accurate to the book, and one from the late 90s that is apparently absolutely terrible. Even though it stars Liam Neeson and Catherine Zeta-Jones, it won a whole bunch of Razzie Awards and got completely panned by the critics, like 15% on Rotten Tomatoes. So those movies that are just so bad that they're good, that is like what I live for and I cannot wait. I don't know if I'll watch both adaptations, but I'm definitely gonna watch the really crappy 90s version. <laughs> Challenge number six is to read a scary graphic novel, and for that one I'm gonna go with Lock and Key Volume 1, Welcome to Lovecraft by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. And the last challenge is to read a book with a scary setting. And for this one, I'm going to go with The Monstrous Child by Francesca Simon. This is a middle grade kind of YA book. It is based on Norse mythology and the main character is a teenager who also happens to be the queen of the dead. So I believe it takes place in the underworld if you can get a scarier setting than that. So that is it for my October TBR. Like, you don't even know how excited I am for this. And that is a total of seven books. Like I said, you could, of course, double up on a lot of the challenges, but this is, like, my jam. I'm trying to go above and beyond. And October, though, is a busy month for me, and I'm going to be in New York at the end of October for a booktuber meetup. So it's going to be a little crazy, but I'm going to attempt to get all of these. So please tell me in the comments down below if you are going to also be taking part in this readathon. Also, I would love to hear what some of your favorite Halloween books or movies are. Please give me your recommendations. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!